do you look at kind of creating a, a sense of urgency coming off a win, but an opportunity to, to close it out and not kind of sit back? Yeah, we got to balance the fact that we're playing at home and there's an expectation that we're going to excite and attack and be dynamic as we as we can be here with um, keeping in mind what we did so well there, what we've done so well against them across the most recent two games, which is not give them a space to create from in general play. I think the two chances that they made that were of real note were from a, a turnover of our of our own, um, which for, was very much an unforced error and a quick free kick. And um, we want to make sure it stays that way, that we're not giving away big chances and that we know we can trust ourselves at home to create. We always do. So I think it is making sure that we strike that balance and that we're sensible and we manage. Obviously, it's been you played three games against this team this year and only scored one goal. What do you have to do to break them down? Yeah, that's that's not a huge concern of mine coming and playing at home because I feel like we are we're on a really good roll here. We've got a really good feeling playing here. We we've excited I think the crowd in the last two games. We've we've had two high scoring games here and we feel like we. Um, we can rest into that without me really forcing that issue. I feel like the biggest part of the game for us is to make sure that it's really competitive. We're real, really detailed in the way that we, we defend, the way that we restrict their space and the way that we've done so far because that's a really important thing against this team and then we trust that um, we'll have our moments as we always do. I know you're focused on what's going to happen on the field, but you haven't seen this place at full force like it's probably going to be tomorrow night. What do you expect the atmosphere to be like in here tomorrow night? Yeah, well, I, hope it, I hope it's... Um, it's it, at least the baseline of the atmosphere that we had in the last in the last home game here, which I thought was phenomenal, and we left with a really good feeling here. And it was easy for me to sell to the players that we've got a chance to come home on Saturday night and and win the series in front of 20,000 people in an atmosphere like hopefully none of us have experienced this year. So um, that's been a big part of the preparation so far. It's been a big part of the message that I put in front of the players, and it, it would certainly have made a difference where where the, there's that carrot at the end of a win when we go and play in Salt Lake. That's um, that's a huge factor. So I feel like it's. Is something that we've got to uh, again lean into and, and make sure that we use well. Are there any concerns with the 11 double game week? No, I wouldn't say so because it's, it's. I think typically where players find it tough is the Wednesday, Saturday, le le the, the Tuesday, Saturday less so. I feel like we um, we put in a shift up there, but it wasn't excessive when we looked at the data. We were able to make the changes that we wanted to make. And um, again, I trust that we can use the home atmosphere as a real energizing factor. And, um, that is something that typically takes away any any sense of fatigue. We've had tough away trips where we've gone and played Wednesday, Saturday, and we felt like we've needed to make a load of changes. Certainly, that, that won't be the case this time around. Whatever happens on Saturday, it could be either two or three weeks until you play again, depending on what the result is. Is that a little frustrating, these international breaks? Oh, we, we've tried not to think all that much about um, what happens beyond this Saturday. And uh, It's a cliche, but we've got to win the game that's in front of us. We've got to treat this as though it's a cup final in its own right, and I feel if we do that, then... Um, if, if that becomes a problem, it's, it's certainly a nice problem to have, at least. How hard is it just to keep guys from putting too much pressure? I mean, I guess that's you get the strike if you need it, losing this one, and then you get another chance. But how much do you try and keep guys from, don't make the moment too big, go through normal routine, treat it like a game, like any other, even though there are higher stakes this no, time? That's, I, I think we, we're fortunate in that sense. We're in a good rhythm around how we need to prepare for important games because we felt like every game that we came back from post Leagues Cup really felt like a cup final if we wanted to get to where we wanted to get to and I think we, we've handled that pressure with real poise. We won seven of the, the last ten games that, that we felt were crucial in their own right at every point. We've we've won the first game in the playoffs treating that as though it's a final and we'll treat this as, as, as it's a final and I feel like we um, when we've been true to what we do in the build-up to games, process-wise, it's typically stood us in really good stead. How do you look at the, just the familiarity of having three games against RSL within a month? And that might be that it's it's strange, but in in a certain sense, we we like to be able to work in a really detailed way relative to the opposition, particularly in how we defend. So we feel like we know the problems that they're going to cause us really, really well. We feel like it's on them to, to try and cause us a different problem in a sense, because um, based upon what we face so far, we, we feel like we know it well. We feel like we're um, really well prepared to at least um, control everything we can control in, in, in killing their threats. So um, I feel like that familiarity is, there's a comfort in that, I would say. I'm sure they would say exactly the same thing, but I think on the balance of how the games have gone so far, probably there's more onus on them to find uh, find a way to, to break us down and make our life more difficult than it's been so far, I would say.
you feel sort of a sense of sort of a tactical test match going on between you and Real Salt Lake? Yeah, I, I've really enjoyed the games against them because I think they've got an interesting way of playing. They've got some players with um, some really interesting characteristics. The games are, from a tactical perspective, I would say they're really high level. We make a change, they make a change. We react, they react. Um, and I feel like none more so probably than this game because of the, the balance of it. I mean, it's they, they have two games in front of them potentially against us where they have to win, they have to force something, they find it difficult, as I say, to, to in more organised play find a way of, of breaking us down. The chances have typically come from, from errors or set plays as, as it was the other night and um, that, that will pose us... Uh, an, an interesting problem I'm sure so we've had some good conversations anticipating what, what we might see that's different and uh, I'm fortunate that I've got a group that are adaptable they're really coachable we've got players in the middle like Will and Hassani that do a really good job in carrying our messages and recognising the ways in which the opposition change and I feel like that's um, exactly how I want us to be as a team really dialled into everything that the opposition do and um, able to uh, sort of snuff their threats out and really oppose, uh, uh, impose ourselves in the way that I know we can how do you look at Will, just big picture-wise? Obviously, he's not as young as he once was, but you've been relying on him very regularly. What does he kind of meant? I, I, I feel like he, uh, he he really goes under the radar in terms of his importance, and um, I think probably the biggest uh, compliment I can pay, pay Will is I feel like if, if you knew exactly what we set up to do prior to games and then you watched Will play, you, you'd... Um, you'd have a sense of a guy who executes almost perfectly every 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 single game, which is, um, I think, a really difficult thing to do. Uh, repeatedly, three games a week, uh, and that I think, unless you work with someone like Will, you really don't appreciate his qualities. Which I, I feel like that's why he sometimes goes under the radar. But I think, from my perspective, from the staff's perspective, I'm sure from every other player's perspective, he's he's one of the, the crucial pieces that we've got. So. Um, I wouldn't devalue his impact in any way, albeit he's someone who doesn't grab the headlines. Um, certainly from our perspective, he's, he's up there with the first names on the team sheet.